molar mass. Mass in the mole, the definition of the mole pertains to relative atomic mass. Okay, as we mentioned earlier um, in, the, um, in the course, okay, we talked about how everything is compared to um, one atom of carbon-12, which has an atomic mass of 12 units. Okay. So one mole of carbon-12 atoms, okay, so one mole, contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of carbon-12. Okay. And that has a mass of exactly 12 grams. So that's what we're going to, to um, the assumption that we're going to, to, to compare it to. So we look at the atomic units, atomic mass units, and we're going to compare it to grams for every single one mole. Okay. So the Avogadro constant is the factor that converts the relative mass of individual atoms or molecules expressed in atomic mass units to mole quantities which are expressed in grams. So what we're going to be looking at is, well, whatever the atomic mass units are of an atom, we're going to compare it, and it compares the U units, and we're going to use it with regards to grams. And what we're going to do ultimately is we're going to look at it in terms of how many grams in one mole of that atom. Okay, so that's going to be where um, the comparison is going to lie. Okay. So what is molar mass? The mass of one mole of any element expressed in grams is numerically equivalent to the average atomic mass of the element expressed in atomic mass units. That's just what I just wrote here. Okay. So for whatever the atomic mass is, we're going to make it equal to that. But instead of using the AMU units or U units, we're going to say grams. Okay, so let's look at it in this table. So we have hydrogen. What is the atomic, uh, the average atomic mass? 1.01. 1.01, 1 .01, right? So 1.01 U. But if we're looking at it in terms of molar mass in grams, we're going to just remove this U and write in 1.01 .01 grams. Okay? So in one mole of hydrogen, we're going to have 1.01 .01 grams. So 1.01 .01 grams of hydrogen in every one mole of hydrogen. Oxygen has an average atomic mass of 16.00 U, so it's equal to 16.00 grams. Okay. Sodium, 22.99 uh, atomic mass units, so 22.99 Grams. Okay, we're looking at calculations. Remember, guys, significant digits. Don't forget that. Okay, uh, last one here in this example. Argon, 39.95 atomic units. And we're going to translate it to 39.95 grams. Okay, so far pretty easy, right? It's not that hard. So. The mass of mole of substance is called the molar mass. And we're going to use the capital M. Okay, molar mass. Molar mass, always remember this. Molar mass, think of moles. Mass, what units come to mind? I'm going to think of grams. So, molar mass is always expressed in grams per mole. Right? So, think of it this way. Grams per mole is grams over mole. When we're looking at it as grams per mole, we're looking at it grams per one mole, but we never write the one mole, right? It's just like, think of a unit like kilometers per hour, right? The speed per really per one hour, but we don't, we don't put that one, okay? Same thing here. So grams per mole means grams per one mole of that. Okay. So. Okay, so here in this example, the average atomic mass of gold is 196.97 units. Therefore, the mass of one mole of gold atoms is 1.96.97 grams per one mole. If we're looking at it, so the molar mass, okay, 
Okay, the molar mass is that. The mass of it is just, where is that? That, if we're looking at it in terms of one mole. Okay. If we're looking at it in terms of two moles, what do you think you're going to do to that number? Multiply by two. So if you were trying to find the mass of water, you'd want to find the, exactly. So you'd have two hydrogens. You'd find the, the atomic mass units and use them as grams. And then the one mass of oxygen, and then add them all together to find the weight of uh, one mole of water. Okay, finding the molar mass of a compound. Find the molar mass of beryllium oxide. To do this, you must be able to identify its chemical formula. Okay, this is what I said. Okay, you have to be able to put together the formula. If I give you this, the question, find the molar mass of beryllium oxide. If you cannot do that, there go the marks. So your ability to name, okay, and write the formulas must be top notch at this point. Okay, so one mole of beryllium oxide contains one mole of beryllium and one mole of oxygen. So, if we look at the periodic table, okay, and I don't think the example, okay. So if we look at the periodic table, what is the molar mass of beryllium? 9.01, and what, what do we use in terms of? Now it's grams, right? Grams per mole. Grams per mole. What is the uh, molar mass of oxygen? 16.00 grams per mole. Okay. So what is the molar mass of this entire, of this formula of beryllium oxide? You add them, and so we and we get. Was it twenty five point zero one grams per mole? But least number of significant digits. While we don't have it in the question, so pretty much just keep those numbers. Okay, there was no see. There's no number in this question. Okay, so I'll be. I'll, I'll allow you to just keep. All those. I'll allow you to, to round off to that if you wanted to. Okay, but I always try to keep one decimal place, two decimal places, if you are not given any numbers to use to calculate your significant digits. Okay?